Hello and welcome to my Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Weapon Guide. Today we're going to cover the Type 63, a Chinese weapon that packs a punch similar to that of the Russian SKS rifle found in Modern Warfare. The Type 63 is the first tactical rifle unlocked and fires the large 762 by 39 millimeter cartridge. Uh, to begin with, some positives of the Type 63. The Type 63's base rate of fire is 361, which can be bumped up to a solid 422. Those with a solid trigger finger will enjoy the output from this tactical rifle. The Type 63's base damage is 68, which can be bumped up to an impressive 74, providing for a two-shot kill all the way out to 50 meters. This is the perfect weapon for setting up at a choke point, playing conservatively, and working towards those high score streaks. This is that perfect weapon for those really looking for, looking for those high-end score streaks that are sometimes difficult to obtain in this game. There are some negatives, though, of course, that come with the Type 63. Type 63 is a clunky, heavy, and slower handling weapon. Those who play very aggressively will notice this right out of the gate. The base sprint to fire time is 400 milliseconds, and the base ADS uh, speed is 350 milliseconds. Again, those are slow numbers for those playing, looking to play quite aggressively. This weapon is made for a slower play style that requires you to be aimed in at the point of attack. You always want to remain ADS'd with this weapon. One must play to the strengths of this weapon, or they will find little success against faster handling weapons, such as the submachine guns and certain assault rifles. For attachments, um, I will recommend attachments that will provide for a conservative playstyle that looks to capture those higher-end score streaks and to watch over those busy, chaotic choke points. I recommend a precision scope of your choice. I preferred one of these three options. These three options provided for the best um, precision, for me anyways, and it's the Axial Arms 3x ACOG scope, the Noak Sova Thermal scope, <clears throat> or the Hawksmoor sight. Again, you want a, some kind of sight to remain, um, or to maximize the precision of this weapon. Each side provides a clearer picture. This is necessary for, long, for a long range weapon that requires the user to remain precise. <clears throat> for barrels, I recommend the 21 and a half task force barrel. This barrel provides for increased damage, damage range, and bullet velocity, maximizing the lethality of this rifle. <clears throat> for the body, the KGB target designator allows for increased reveal distance for maps where visibility becomes an issue. Of course, visibility is quite important for a weapon requiring this kind of precision. For the underbarrel, I recommend the Spetsnaz ergonomic grip. This grip increases or uh, decreases vertical recoil and horizontal recoil. Again, maximizing the lethality of this long-range rifle. That's the key with the uh, Type 63. You want to maximize the lethality of this weapon. <clears throat> Finally, I recommend recommend the Spetsnaz PKM stock or the KGB pad. The Spetsnaz PKM stock provides for increased shoot movement speed and aim walking movement speed. These two items are very helpful for a weapon requiring one to remain in, aimed in at all times to be effective. The KGB pad would be uh, beneficial for those looking to play a bit more aggressively on a smaller map, which increases the KGB pad increases sprint to fire time and aim, walk, uh, aim walking movement speed. Uh, next, we move to Lethal's Tacticals and Field Upgrades. For our Tacticals, I recommend the Stim Shot Needle. This will allow you to heal and recover faster when going for those higher score streaks. For Lethal's, I recommend the Molotov. This will allow you to cut off lines of sight to buy you more time to reposition or reload, while also softening up enemies to finish off or to gain assist kills while working towards those higher score streaks. Finally, for Field Upgrades, the Trophy or Assault Pack will be your friend. The trophy will protect you from incoming lethals and tacticals to keep you focused in on the enemy. The assault pack will allow you to stay restocked since you will likely be away from the action and will need ammo while going on these long kill streaks. <clears throat> uh, getting into perks here, the perk greed wildcard will be recommended and will be quite useful for this class setup. For a perk one slot, Flak Jacket and Ford Intel will provide tools that are necessary for obtaining those 
higher score streaks. FLAC will further pr protect from incoming lethals, while Ford Intel will provide for a larger minimap and also showing the location of enemy reinforcements, providing for maximum awareness where the enemy is at all times. For the Perk 2 slot, Assassin and Quartermaster will also be quite useful. Assassin will show those enemies that are on high kill streaks and will provide for more score when eliminating them. <coughs> Quartermaster provide or recharges equipment every 25 seconds, allowing regeneration of stim shot, so that you are able to heal faster while working towards those higher skills or score streaks. For our perk three slot, cold blooded and spy craft will also be the most beneficial. Cold-Blooded will offer maximum protection from enemy score streaks and necessity for a class reliant on staying alive. Spycraft will also keep you immune from counter spy planes, jammers, and paranoia. This will allow you to, to uh, keep your awareness up and to have a clear minimap at all times. Of course, in conclusion, this is our build. One that allows for maximum lethality while keeping you alive to obtain those higher score streaks. This is a fun class for those looking to rack up these high kill games while avoiding deaths around the map. This class and weapon requires conservative play. If you are super aggressive, you will need to change your playstyle to be most effective with this weapon. So for those looking for high-end score streaks, equip the Type 63 and you will see. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. And until the next video, farewell.